Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up your status bar in DWM. So a lot of new users to DWM get intimidated by uh, setting up a status bar or the fact that DWM does not have one by default. Um, and it's really not that bad. Like a status bar could really only be like five lines of shell script. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically hand you the entire, all the code you need to set up a status bar. But um, let, me, let me just walk you through how setting a status bar works in DWM. Instead of using like a, um, a special command that comes into Window Manager for like a status bar that comes built in or like using some esoteric configuration language that has inheritance and a bunch of crazy, crazy stuff going on like Polybar does, to set the text of um, your status bar in DWM is just one command. X set root dash name status bar text. And now status bar text is what our status bar says. So let's combine this with the date command. You type in date and it gives you back the current date and time by default. And if we want to set our status bar to give us the date and time, Status bar name, quote, dollar sign, opening parenthesis, date, closing parenthesis, double quote. And now our status bar is the current date and time. Um, but you're probably going to want this to update at some point over and over in the background without you having to manually type it in over and over and over every second. So to do that, you need a, uh, a script to automatically call x set root dash name, name date, over and over and over. And so I'm going to have this in the description for you, for you all at home. And um, I'm going to walk you through this. So basically, this is what is called a shebang. It basically means like it tells the system how we're going to interpret this file if we're going to execute it. Basically, this says run this as a bash script. Some people will write set of bash sh which basically will most of the time mean about the same thing because a lot of distributions alias sh to bash. I don't like to do that because um, some distributions might have sh bound or alias to another shell. So just for the sake of compatibility, we're going to say bin bash. And down here we have a while true loop, which means that unless this program is explicitly closed, it's going to do this over and over and over forever in the background until the system turns off or the parent process closes. In this case, DWM. And I'll get to that in a second, how we're going to start this shell or uh, status bar with DWM. But basically what's going to happen here is forever, we're going to do the stuff that's indented here. We're going to set the time in the status bar, sleep for a second, set the time, sleep, set the time, sleep, over and over and over in the background and that that's it that's the whole script so we're going to run it right now you can see my time is now automatically updating every second on the second and if you want to start this script uh, when you start uh, DWM it'll depend if you're using a display manager or if you're using um, StartX this virtual machine uses StartX which means I type in StartX when I start my system or want to launch my uh, my DWM, my graphical user interface. Um, if not, like if you follow from an earlier video about installing DWM on Ubuntu, then what you're going to want to do is go to the Suckless website and install. Hold on, install this patch. And what this patch will do is this will give you like your own auto start scripts so that you can put in the status bar in there um, to launch when DWM does. I don't use it. I don't need to use it because, again, I'm using startx. So basically my auto start.sh is .x in RC. And so for my case, all I got to do is... Vim x and rc 
status bar sh ampersand because I don't want to wait for status bar to exit before I launch DWM. I want to fork this to the background because again, um, this is gonna this without this ampersand, uh, this script is gonna sit here and wait for it to close before it launches DWM. And again, we want the status bar to run in the background. We don't want to run status bar or DWM. We want it to run in the background and update the status bar while we're in DWM. So I'm gonna right quit, close all that. Start X, and now my status bar is automatically updating my time in the corner. And uh, for 95% of people, this is all they want in the status bar anyway. So, um, yeah, world small status bar, and that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.